right now that I got the fan on uh, we're just gonna give it a try and see how this goes but um it's kind of it was pretty tough to put on this um, heat sink it's not that heavy it's pretty light but um, I was having a hard time putting it on especially for the uh, AMD because you have to press down the lever very hard and I was afraid that I might harm the uh, or damage the CPU but I got it on all right and um, I did test it out once and it looks like it's okay just want to show you guys uh, this uh, but um, here it is I mean the fan is on pretty big fan I mean I think the reason I one of the main reason I replaced this is it has a big fan plus the heat sink I mean I don't need a lot of pipe I say six three pipes along the CPU which is fine um, but what it is is this fan is big so it won't need to spin as much as the smaller the stock fan that comes with the the CPU so um, I'm pretty pretty happy with this and it's very very quiet so I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna maybe at this angle is better I'm gonna give it a go and uh, let you guys um, see it for yourself so I'm gonna turn it on one two three Now, as you can see, I have CP this CPU fan, and there's a case fan, and also another fan. You can't see it from this side. I know you can see it here. Here's underneath here. See this one right here. This one actually um, makes a, a little bit more noise than any of the other fan, but. I could almost I could almost not hear this at all. Maybe the noise comes from comes from this guy. But anyway, um, it's much much um, quieter than the stock fan. So, and surprisingly, the temperature of the CPU ranging from seventeen degree or even thirteen thirteen to twenty three degrees. So uh, I'm pretty happy with this. So I recommend everybody if they really want a small, um, small budget fan, should get this one. Okay, that that is all for now, and I'll keep you guys updated if there's anything else uh, if I experience any issue. Okay.